It's Feedback Gaming. Welcome back to my Japanese series where we attempt to play peacefully. Remember, remember, when the Jap the Chinese agreed to be puppeted, it was completely done peacefully, okay? Now the warlords on the other hand were rightfully Chinese territory, so we had to sadly uh, attack the, uh, the warlords. We're just holding on to them at the moment, in like a little bank account, that's all. We are going to return to China eventually, but right now we're just holding on to them. And because we attacked the warlords, Big Daddy Russia wasn't happy with that and ended up attacking us. A declaration of war. So we defended ourselves. So, so far, I think we've been very respectful to the series so far anyway. Okay, so let's see what we can do. So we have got Chinese divisions here, which consists of just any old template, 19.8. Combat width, which is 20 pretty much. Hang on a second, I'm 19.8 as well. How come the combat width's a little bit less than normal? Hmm? Hmm? Okay, let's resume the game. So we are demanding Indochina, which I think in all fairness, with the sphere of the world, and as much as we are democratic, that doesn't mean we're not imperialistic, right? And we're gonna demand Indochina from the French. Are they going to agree to that? I don't know. We're going to find out. Anyway, uh, the uh, Germans, on the other hand, are doing a lot better. They're clearing the pocket. They're attacking the Yugoslavians as well as. Um, the Spanish are pushing into North Africa. Also a little bit here. Oh, they accept. The French have agreed to our demands, and their bases and facilities in Indu China are our complete disposal. They have effectively turned our full control of the colony to us. Becomes the controller of Indu China. World, three world tension. Oh, it's broken the game as well. Oh, there we go. We're back. And it is classed as a colony as well. Cool. Cool. Well, that gives us an absolute shite ton of rubber. And also a bit of chromium and, and tungsten as well. Very nice. Oh, there's a news message for that. That's a new one. I've not seen that before. Okay. I realize that the end game techs don't require oil for the jets. And they require tungsten, rubber, and aluminium. Hmm. Hmm. All right, we need to focus on our new national focus. Focus on our focus. So we can uh, pressure Siam or befriend Siam, which will move them towards democracy? Boost their relations, isn't it? Let's pressure Siam. So, remember, we are a strong, imperialistic power. Maybe democratic, that's true. Uh, but the truth behind it is there's nothing wrong with using our strong, imperialistic fists to try and get what we need, right? Yeah? Right? Right? Yeah, of course. Let's do it. All right, we're going to go here and position the troops here. I don't think there's going to be enough combat width for all of them, so we might have to split them off. We'll see how it goes. Uh, one of these is the supply of one point... There's 24, 20. It's just going to be enough if they spread out evenly. No template for rocket artillery. Oh, yeah, yeah. We're making rockets, aren't we? Yeah. So, tactical bombers and fighters. We're trying to mix between the both. Uh, we've got a few motorized, mechanized. Oh, yeah. We're going for mechanized a little bit early as well. Uh, we're going for the tank, too. We could probably go for the cheery. I think I might do the cheery. And we're going to go for better rockets as well. We are primarily focused on rockets at the moment. I think we can probably start migrating them across. Yeah, we can. We are a little bit behind, but we'll catch up. It's all good. Uh, is there anything I can do for the Chinese troops? I don't want to make these divisions any bigger. 22, combat width. 22. Artillery based. Go for the Chiwi. I'm just wondering... We've gone for the armor one. Oh, we can't go for the armor one because we need the axis focus, don't we? Can't do that one. It gives kamikazes. That lets me make a kamikaze jet. Doctrines. Battleships. Carriers. Makes lots of free fortresses. Okay, they're moving through the north at the moment, but when they move further south, they should spread out the width. A wee bit. So mix between lights and heavies. 
And we're also making a few mechs as well, aren't we? This is quite a modern division, this, isn't it? See, I think at some stage or another that, that Paradox will have this as an ideal build because it's a mix between mech, motorized, mediums, and lights. And I think what Paradox will do is they'll have a combined arms bonus at some stage. That's how it feels like the direction it's going because it seems strange to me as like a division with all the same kind of troops within it kind of is just as effective as one that is mixed. And I don't know, a mixed one would be good because like the, the tanks would be reconnaissance, wouldn't they? And then the armor would follow through as the main assault. And then the mechanized would be a bit of, I don't know, on the flanks maybe to take damage. And the motorized rubbish would be the main attack force. I don't know, the mixed economy feels right to me. And it does appear that we still do not have enough combat width. We're really struggling to build the combat width of two. Oh, we're working on this too. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's what we said we were doing, didn't we? So we'll do those two now. Building that economy up. We have uh, 97 civilian factories. We are going to work on some more military ones eventually too. We're not going to switch out the tank now, think about it, because we're just going to build up a surplus of tanks first. What is the combat width on our tank division? 22 with armor of 33, piercing of 43. It's pretty modest to be honest with you. So we are sieging a coup in the British Raj as well. Yet again, it's in our area of influence. It is rightfully our territory, right? Right? We're still sending guns to Spain. Efficiency of 7%. Not that great. Oh, they've closed the pocket. Well, almost. And uh, also they're pushing towards Yugoslavia. Slavia. Alright, so I, I'm aware of this pressure sign because if they disagree, uh, it'll put us into war. So I need to be aware of that. Um, and we're going to prepare as if the war has already been declared. Awesome. Total mobilization. Free trade is still a thing. Uh, we don't need as much steel anymore. Actually, we can't turn that off because we, we just need to... Now we need that from our vassals. I guess I could focus on suppression as well, suppress subjects. That could be cool. I'm tempted at this point to rush ahead on some techs. Yeah, I'm going to go for construction. Uh, pressure the ultimatum. They accept the ultimate and they have become a puppet. Hey! Awesome. Okay, that's good. Um, expand the navy now. These are all navy based focuses, aren't they? Advanced torpedoes is a really good tech. So maybe go for these two. And then go for. Air base expansion is useless. Southern expansion for Casas Belles. Strike at the USA, Casas Belles. Northern expansion is not going to happen because the USA, uh, the Soviet Union doesn't exist anymore. Um, a lot of these are pretty useless now, aren't they? Unless I want to expand my navy, which I probably should. We'll focus on making better naval tech in a moment. So maybe we should get the better destroyers. Um, yeah, let's do that actually. Are we actually making level 1 destroyers? No, they're cruisers. Yeah, we need to get cruisers. And also we need to make destroyers too. We can also work on some better carriers too. Convoys are pretty good. Alright, awesome. Alright, we'll go 5 speed. Okay, and I think it's time to stop that and tell you guys to stop your mission. We have a nice surplus of tanks now. Do we wait for this to finish? Nah, that's no point. Go for mediums, right? The Shinu. So they always say that the, the Pacific Theater didn't have a lot of tank combat as such. Um, and I think the reason is mainly but down to terrain as such, isn't it? And you have big battles between the Soviet Union and the Germans, as well as the invasion of France, which had a lot of tank combat. But the terrain isn't really meant for 
tanks is it lots of mountainous terrain as such heavy rivers and whatnot the enemies of tanks as such and amphibious landings aren't as useful with tanks as well i do think there were some shermans that were used in the pacific landings for america i'm aware of they want no oh, they want it's like to join the allies would they hmm it's a possibility of that there's a possibility so weird to play as the Japanese and have the, uh... So weird to have the Japanese... To be the Japanese and have the, uh, have an invitation to the Allies. Gaining 9 from trade, which is still pretty, in all fairness, pretty low. Got the best tech now. I'm going to go for decryption. And now we're going to focus on the ships. Where was the doctrine? Did not focus on doctrine at all. I'm trying to think of what technology we can rush forward for. I think I'm going to go for the modern tank as early as we can as well. Um, we should probably focus on mech as well. Because we're behind on that too. Hmm. So there's techno. So let's think about future tech. So we could do with better carriers. That's a, that's a certain. We've done with the shock and all. And we got our free slot now. We haven't an extra free division that I do not want. We could also annex these as well, couldn't we? Or we could give them freedom. I don't think there's a way you can release them, is there? No. Release the Soviet Union. Hey, new tank divisions. Yep, and they're good. Yeah, they're good to go. We still need to continue our mechanized focus, though. So, mechanized. Um, do that, maybe. And then do that, and then that. Yep. Probably take a few off there as well. It's good. So, some of the late game tech that I think is really, really OP is modern tanks, which are just absolutely amazing and also late game rockets are really strong too insane soft attack crazy soft attack okay we've got some extra naval dot yards in that case we'll focus them on convoys for now get a few uh convoy rating two which is not Massively helpful. Looks like the Italians are attacking the Yugoslavs. Oh, and also going to attack Greece and Albania too. Oh yeah, Albania said no, didn't they? We all remember that moment where the Albanians said no. Oh, you guys go here. You guys go here. Actually, do we even need you here? We could probably do with a, a defense force in Japan, couldn't we? I'm, I'm, I'm actively playing against the AI. As if it was a multiplayer game, I'd have troops based everywhere to just hold certain points on the map. But I, don't know. I guess we could just do this. Yeah, let's do that. They're all strategically redeploying. We are behind on oil and steel. It's because we're producing more with our naval dockyards, isn't it? We're still on limited conscription too. Can we make some more? Yeah, we can. Now we're doing for equipment. Um, I think as well, I think we'll have artillery. Oh, we'll add the rockets onto you too then. And I feel like we'll add an extra mechanized too. Bit behind on the mech now and rockets, but we'll catch up. We have a bit of army experience too. Maybe we should uh, try and make a variant. Hmm. So there are a few things that are inevitable. Okay, that I need to be aware of. And one of the things we need to be aware of is the Soviet Union. No, that's not true. The United States does have a focus to declare war on Japan. Let me see where it is. So, Strike against the communism, strike against the empire, defense of the Pacific, it's this one. And they can go for that one next too. 
Oh, hang on. No, they can't. All of the following is required. Uh, limited intervention. And the Pearl Harbor Gambit. That's my focus, isn't it? No. So... Oh, so because I'm demogra uh, democratic, it won't let them do it. Ah, oh, right, I was expecting a war against the USA. Um... They won't create a faction with me. Hmm. Ooh. It's kind of interesting because it's gonna. It's gonna be interesting how this is gonna turn out, isn't it? I'm not really sure what direction it's gonna go. Alright, building up all the infrastructure here. Probably could do with that as well. So, the method to the madness here. Yeah, the method to the madness here is... Okay, I'm going to do something that might upset, upset a few people. Because I have technically, right now modified the game to create these puppets these it, it, the idea was a buffer state that was the reason I was trying to or what I was trying to do but it really didn't work so what I'm doing is I'm gonna get Germany did I just unpause the game then oh shit oh, crap now I'm gonna have to go back to Japan and they've probably changed lots of stuff whoops not a lot we can do about that okay so we're gonna annex that and while we're at we'll annex Poland as well and then we'll go back to Japan to see the chaos, what the AI has done. Yeah, the AI has totally messed up all my divisions. God damn. God damn. Five of those? No, I need four of those, thank you. It's totally rearranged all my production. Like an asshole. Ugh. Okay, that looks about right, doesn't it? I didn't, I didn't want artillery. I'm sorry, I don't want artillery. I don't want it. Uh, tactical bombers and fighters were a priority. And it's made loads of new fleet. It's also cancelled the light cruiser that we were just making. Hmm. Hmm. Thank you, AI. Thank you for that. It's one of the annoying things about multiplayer games, the AI, when they, if you leave a uh, multiplayer game and the AI takes over, it like re, re changes everything about your armies and whatnot. And they've changed their to export focus. <laughs> okay. Well, eventually I was going to do that anyway. I didn't think they'd do it within that time period though. Eh, fuck it. Okay, they did it. All right. It's been done. The AI has messed with my game, and that has upset me. Why are you trading with Mexico? Trade with our good buddy, the United States. Anyway, what we're doing again? So this guy is Mountaineers. Ugh. Oh, what have you done to my divisions, bro? What have you done? Alright, you guys. We're all here. And you will stay here. Can you please stay here? Thank you. Um, you guys are expeditionary forces. This is our tank army. Um, yep. And you guys need to be here too. What's this one dude? Oh, I see him. Yep, so this isn't a kind of... I, I I guess maybe you guys could get really upset for me doing that. Okay, I don't know. Maybe that's really triggered a few of you guys. I am really sorry if it's triggered you. I am so, so sorry. But uh, this this game's more of a role play than a an actual, full-blown, actual historical play-out scenario where I'm testing my skills in the game. This is a bit of role-playing fun. 
But at least now Germany is a bit stronger, which is probably going to help them in the long run. Oh, we've got foreign claims on Poland. Now I have absolutely... Oh, no. I, oh, I see the Empire of Japan flag because it's the similar flag as the Flangigist Poland. Flan... 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 His flag's very similar. Um, is that all good? I'm trying to think of anything else that might have fucked up. Now they don't touch research, thankfully. Alright, Yugoslavia's gone. Alright, so I need to focus on tech. So, that's their base expansion. This gives models for light cruisers and heavy cruisers. This is fighter models. Oh, fighter models. That's pretty good. Capitulated, but they still hold a large chunk of land in the south. Big concern with switching out the mechanized models, and probably one of the reasons why you don't ever go for mechanized in most cases is because you gotta faff around. Like every time you get a new model of mechanized, you have to move the model forward. I don't know, it's a bit of a pain in the ass. Alright, so this gives extra right cruise advanced torpedoes. I think we'll go for this one and then go for the next destroyer. Actually, is there a one that gives us two boosts for destroyers? This gives us naval bases. This gives one, only one. Okay, so we'll go to level three, wait for the bonus to get an extra 50%, then go for four. United States stands against fascism. Have they joined the Allies yet? It shows you the national focus, isn't it? Spain's being pushed all the way back into Iberia. Oh, extra diversions. Thank you, dude. Pass. Pass. Decryption focus, and then we're going to focus on different models, won't we? Yep. And the rockets are done now. Now rockets could be stronger because I could go for the extra rocket tax, which I will do, but not yet. That's behind as well. I need to keep the guns up to date. That affects the whole strength of my entire army, so that's really important. New destroyer. Add to the main fleet. I need to update my naval bombers as well. Oh, we can upgrade these as well. Military factories, that'll be a military sector. That's gonna be a military sector too. And this will be military too. 11 civilian factories boost that economy. So, if we get an economy as strong as the United States, that would make me a happy bunny. The, the United States has 133 military and 191 civilian. So they're uh, about 50% larger than us. I think with the new patches, the game's become less chaotic and a little bit more organized than it once was. Because I don't, nothing's happened in this game that's, um, I would say, disastrously random now. I guess maybe the, the wars, I mean, the Soviet Union declaring war on me within the purge was pretty crazy. But when I first saw that on the first episode, I was like, do I have to restart this series? But I was thinking, hang on a minute, they've attacked me and it's the purge. So that means I, does that mean I get the bonus? I don't know. In that case, I... I yeah, so in that case, they lose their... They have to suffer from the Great Purge penalties. In that case, I was like, nah, fuck it. I'm, I'm going to continue my campaign. Because that way I can take out the Soviet Union relatively easy. 
being the purge penalties are pretty heck, pretty bad so we're gonna go for naval innovation so we can go for the better planes right yeah we can go for this model also go for the better bomber soon as well Some of the focuses, in my opinion, are just not that great. I mean, airbase expansion, eh, that's kind of cool, I suppose. Eh, I, I guess it puts a few islands, uh, a few air bases on islands, and that's quite useful for the naval war, but... Eh, I don't know. If you have the... If this was an ability to go for it without requiring these ones above it, then I'd just go for it immediately, but... No, not in this case. This one's good, though. It gives you the convoy... Doctrine, subs and destroyers. That's pretty decent. Oh, my national news is 90% too. Alright, so it looks like the Danish. Are they in the Allies? They are. See, one thing you don't see very often is Germany attacking Norway. And I think the reason why... Oh, I just realised I've got the debug mode on. The reason why is because they just seem to never get naval supremacy in the Baltic Sea. And I think it's just because the Allies just keep going into the Baltic Sea to fight them. If you if you want a bit of a spoiler, make lots of naval bombers and put your naval bombers here with fighters in the Baltic Sea. And what you end up doing is wiping out an absolute shit ton of Allied ships because the AI sends them into the Baltic on a suicide mission. And then when it's cleared in the Baltic, then launch your attack into Norway. That seems to be the optimal way of doing it. Relying on the AI or lack of. Alright, we're upgrading. So, in that case, you can go for the best model, which is the medium three. We have a lot of support equipment. I think it's time to expand. We need the next mechanized as well. So, working on that. So, I think what we'll do. I think the tech, the future techs we're going to go for are modern tank and the, the 44 mech. So in that case, I probably should switch out, shouldn't I? When this one's done, we'll switch out to the latest mech. This is also really strong too. 10% extra soft attack for motorized and mechanized. That's insane. It's this extra tanks. Um... Okay, that's the latest model, then we go for carriers. One, two. Guess we could have uh, gone for better mountain divisions as well, couldn't we? What's the reason we went for mountains? Have we got a commando? No, we've not. <laughs> so, we want this one. It requires advanced torpedoes, so we'll do that one then. Need extra oil, which we get that from the United States. We never made any refineries, did we? Oh, we did. No, I tell a lie, we did. So this one here will take two off, and then we'll build an extra two. Yeah, we'll do that now. Alright, that's up to date now. That's good. So we said we were gonna we're gonna go for this one. We need to focus on rockets. We've got the boost for fighters too, we've got the boost for naval. So we definitely need that, and then obviously we need the attack for it too. Yeah, we'll rush ahead, we'll get the modern tank. Um Yeah. I think it's time to phase these out. We'll make one more. Yeah, it's a shame you can't upgrade mediums to moderns, to be honest with you. It's a shame, but it's a thing. I like that. I like the anti-tank on that. I'm not actually sure what that is, but it looks like a like an electrified cattle prod. Oh my god, those Japanese. They were awful in World War II. <gasps> Revolution has happened. We have a democratic revolution. 
Okay, so in this case, to make this effective, we're going to have to send them an absolute shit ton of convoys. I'm not even going to be polite about it. I'm going to send them an absolute ton. So, we're going to send you 100% of our bombers. 100% of our fighters, which are out of date, but whatever. We also have some... How many of these have we got? We can have a thousand. We've got a lot of those in storage. And you can have 10,000 guns. I wonder if these are any kind of priority order of any kind. But I'm not sure. We'll send those anyway. How is this going to go down? It is two divisions versus 21. Beep. And all the production is on one side too. These Civil War events are a little bit broken in my opinion. They should be a little bit more balanced than this. I thought the whole idea was they split the country in half. Eh, I don't think we're even going to get our first supply delivery before they're going to die. I wanted to have an independent India, a democratically elected government, not a suppressive imperialistic colony of the UK. Imperialism has to end, boys. Actually, no, imperialism doesn't have to end. We have to have our version of imperialism. Heh. <laughs> Actually, are they in a civil war with any other countries? Oh, yeah, they've got this. Oh, well, they did have that. It's just been taken. That was the French colony, wasn't it? Alright, so that'll be delivered in 11 days. So maybe they'll survive for 30 days then. But if they lose Bombay, I think they're pretty much going to be over. It's Bombay versus Delhi. Alright, we need the best cruiser. Uh, this one's good. I like air support. How is that air support? Improved tactics for planes, close air support. No, that's rubbish. I don't want that. And naval efficiency. Nah. Strategic bombing. Extra 10%. I never really compared that to the other stats. So strategic bombing here is an extra 20%. That's 30%. This one's 10. Interesting. Just the visibility of strategic bombing. Air superiority, that's a really good one too. The, those are the, the two good ones here are that one for extra agility, which is technically defense in the air. And this one, air skirmish for air superiority bonus. So I think I want to work towards that one. I mean, they're all pretty good, don't get me wrong, they're all pretty good, but those ones are the best. The best. Come on, dude, pump out those divisions. You've got seven now. Come on, you can... I believe. I believe. So what did we send them, then? So we sent them Type 94s, which are guns, I think. We sent them an absolute ton of Type 99s. I'm not even sure what those are. Is that the gun? Convoys... Oh, they've made some kind of landing on Madras. They've lost Bombay. They've lost Madras. I think it's pretty much already over. <laughs> well, that was a disappointing civil war. Uh, well, we tried to bring democracy to the Raj, and it was failed absolutely miserably. Oh, look, and Brazil's gone democratic as well. And Peru has gone democratic as well. One thing I, I've never taken into account is when you've got it on, on historical, the AI actively goes for ministers that move their ideology. Hmm, it doesn't look like they have. What? Or are they getting boosted by another country? I'm not sure. I can't explain that. Venezuela has 60 divisions. 60. This is interesting, a Yugoslav pocket here. We have lost the boot of Italy. And also a little bit of Yugoslav going on. Oh, the qu oh no! You want to quit the British Raj. Oh, right, okay, well, okay. I tried, boys. I actually tried. Alright, can we make our mechanized better? So, we go for this. How many pieces have we got? This will cost us five. What? What? Why are you not showing me the numbers? That's a bug, isn't it? We're not moving mechanized to mechanize, are we? They've uh, they've not converted my divisions, have they? They've not made their own template. They have. They've converted all my templates. Oh no, they've not. <sighs> I had a heart attack then. Wow. Okay. So the AI, just to make things really confusing, to really upset me, they've 
They've made lots of extra templates. Oh my god, the AI. What? I think I'm going to add artillery onto that. And then make... I don't think I've got enough rockets to... How many of these have we got? Eight of these. Four of these. We're currently making the Type 2. Oh my god, the AI is so annoying. So what they've done is my template, the one I just deleted, they change all of those into these two. Oh, fuck. Um, right, we're going to convert everything to type one, aren't we? All right. So we can only add one more on. This looks good to me, as far as it looks like. Yeah. We have to exercise you because some of you are noob level. Oh, the fall of Paris. The fall of Paris? What? Guys, if you have enjoyed this episode, it has been more of an observational episode where I've talked about technology and how the world is going. Not much combat, but hopefully next episode there might be some wars kicking off to uh, see how the world goes. Apart from that, I hope you have a good day. See you soon. Uh, like, subscribe, and all that good jazz. See you soon. Bye-bye.